hi and a very very warm good evening ladies and gentlemen my name is Annie M. Kidwai and you're watching Vertex the solution of every need how is everyone doing and I hope you're liking us and subscribing to our YouTube channel uh, if there is any kind of questions queries or doubts you're more than welcome uh, to mail me the contact details about me are available in the description box below of this video uh, The people who are watching me for the very first time who are curious to know about me about my work my credentials You're more than welcome over my website the details about my website address and everything is available in the description of this video as well Okay, as you all know that human is always on the error and I'm a human being so I also need feedback so for your positive or constructive feedback you can leave your comments in the comment section below so I can also and our my team can also improve on the same so ladies and gentlemen what is my topic for today to speak in this video basically uh, as you know, I was doing my research work and it just came in my mind and I thought of recording then and there for my viewers, for my students, for the people who follow me, who listens to me or, you know, who thinks I, who, who you know, matches with the kind of uh, content I deliver, basically, who understands my content and what I'm trying to communicate to make the society more educated and a better place for everyone. So it just came in my mind and I, I thought that I should record for everyone. Today what I'm going to speak on to, it's extremely important when we are living in a society, ladies and gentlemen, whether you are a professional, you are a homemaker, you are a college student, you are a corporate employee, you are a school-going child, children, teenagers, college-going teenagers, or anyone, anyone, you know, um, you need to understand that attitude plays a major role in your lifestyle, in your lifespan. So today's video that I'm going to, rec I'm recording, not going to record, I'm actually recording, is on attitude. What is attitude? So you may please leave your definitions. What do you feel that what is attitude according to you? Because every individual have a different perception and every individual have a different understanding about this topic. So please leave that what do you feel that what attitude is. I'm sharing from my point of view, which I follow, I believe, I inculcate in my trainings, I inculcate in my students. If you feel that I am right or whatever I am trying to deliver from my knowledge, from my piece of knowledge in this video, if you like it and if you think it will be beneficial for you and for your children, please give a thumbs up to it unless please give, give a thumbs down so that I also realize where, you know, I need to improve my intellectual uh, uh, mindset. So what is attitude? According to me, attitude um, is your behavior with respect to a situation. We have different situations, ladies and gentlemen, in our day-to-day -day life. Sometimes they are professionals, professional relation, uh, professional situations, I'm sorry. And at times, they are personal. You know, when you're dealing with your superiors, with your juniors, with your co-workers, with your boss, with, uh, you know, with your clients, then it becomes a professional situation. And when you're dealing on a personal front with, you know, with your neighbor or, you know, in your public life or with uh, the family or friends um, uh, of, of your circle, then it becomes a personal situation. And based on every situation, you behave accordingly. So your behavior is the result of your personality. 
your understanding now a personality can be negative a personality can be positive it depends on the you know on on the individuals upbringing background roots education okay society friend circle mindset mentality thought process a lot of things develop a, 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 a an individual's personality from the day when the individual is born so the parents the parents the teachers right society everyone comprises an individual's personality and at the later stage when the individual has a concrete mindset about or a thought process or perceiving information and understanding and analyzing that information on basis of the personality what whatever his experiences of the past you know they behave in those situations or in those circumstances so this is what as per psychology and attitude is also now ladies and gentlemen as we all are human beings and every human goes through different sort of experiences in their lives you know each one of us don't have a similar life uh, each one of us don't have similar comfort each one of us don't have similar educational platforms or educational levels so as we but what is what is the most beautiful part of it that every individual is unique in its own the quality i possess the person b might not have and what person b possess i might not have those qualities for example an, an individual is very punctual the other one might be hard working the third one might be very honest so every individual have different sort of qualities as well as some uh not so rewarding uh points um uh, of their personality at times some people have short temper they get really angry you know at times there are people who lies or who manipulates people you know maybe not intentionally but unintentionally it might not be at times that uh is harmful uh but they want that their agendas shall meet so one of the basic example of manipulation which i i term it as a soft manipulation which is harmless that at times you know uh, a mother when wants the child or uh, his uh, his child or toddler to finish up the meal quickly uh, she tells a lie to uh, the child or to the toddler that just come, you know finish up your meal quickly unless uh, you know some uh, the cat will come and eat your meal or uh, some kind of stories she makes up so the child uh, in a hurry or in a fear finish up finishes up the meal so this is harmless because this is harmless though it's a lie it's a lie it's a manipulation to the child to the toddler that the mother do but mother do because she wants that the child or the toddler you know finishes up uh, the meal quickly eats up the lunch or dinner or whatever meal Uh, they're having quickly uh, it's for the benefit because you know it's um, for his nutrition or for his or her health but the parent lies you know but this is unintentional and harmless in a way but of course a manipulation and a lie is a lie uh, uh if we talk in terms of psychology so uh attitude of an individual when we talk about when they come when they grow up when they uh, when they are in the adulthood and they're responsible for their own actions so their attitude 
determines you know or based out of all the past experiences communications what they see as a child what they uh, you know um observe as a child what they observe in the you know in the society as a whole in the growing stages in the developing stages it's all based on that um so one must understand that is it uh, is it uh, if someone develops a negative thought or a negative personality so who is responsible the other person now here comes the play if you have the right education you know the people who are bringing that child up and developing uh, the personality of that child and then the child is taking up that personality from the childhood uh, to the adulthood and different experiences on through the major role is of the parents and the second is of the teachers or the professors so educators and the parents who develops uh, the personality of children and then those children becoming adults and their attitude really matters uh, in the society as a whole you know uh, responsible for it somewhere so uh coming back to what i want to deliver in this video this is the one portion or one part i talked about what is attitude i have explained you the uh, you know uh, the whole structure of attitude with definition now attitude ladies and gentlemen at times can be confident an attitude at the same time can be of insecurities you know when you try to bully someone you know when you try to pull someone's leg maybe you say that it's a part of the joke it's a part of comedy or something i said in a very funny way or you try to bully people at workplace you try to bully individuals in the society that is also your attitude with respect to a situation maybe you can develop a different attitude in that situation and opt for a more positive or a favorable outcome maybe you're able to develop good relationship with that individual whom you're trying to bully or you are trying to impact with your negative or a rude behavior right to the individual to the other individual maybe you can win over that individual with your positive personality with your positive attitude so now we we talk about first we i spoke on the definition of attitude i spoke on how we develop that attitude so attitude can also be as i said confident or insecure or positive or negative the confident attitude is of course very positive and the insecure the attitude which is filled up with insecurities with fears is of a uh, uh, of a negative category so firstly uh, we'll talk about the negative attitude for example there is a person a there, there is a person a and that person a is might be your colleague your coworker your friend or anyone maybe going through some financial crisis or some kind of problems in uh, his or her personal life but as a friend or as a neighbor as a you know person or you know whom you know any kind of a relationship you share that individual shares his problem with you but instead of trying to patiently understand the problem giving him a morale boost or you know emotional support or maybe no emotional support just a kind listener to that individual you start mocking that person out you start bullying that person out that means the problem is not with the other person because such situations 
happen with everyone and they are constant it they happen uh, they uh, you know always in everyone's life but your attitude defines your personality with respect to that situation are you a positive individual or you are a, a negative individual maybe uh, if an individual is into a crisis suppose a financial crisis or a financial loss you are not able to help that person financially right you're not able to help that person uh, or support that person with money but what you can do you can be a kind listener you can develop generosity inside of you right you can be humble towards the bad situation of person a's life in this way you are not maybe you're not able to help that person financially but maybe you are trying to you know uh give them some emotional support in this way you are able to work on your people skill you are able to develop a good uh relationship with that person you yourself feel confident in yourself that you are a balanced individual who can give emotional support to people see support is not necessary always have to be financial if you are able to financially support then you are uh, a strong individual strong individuals or strong personalities are emotionally strong they don't get break down easily when situations are rough so your attitude defines your personality with respect to situations so of course um for example a friend of yours requires help in mathematics and you are a genius in mathematics you always you know it uh, comes you know at the uh, first position in your batch or you uh, ranks uh, the highest in the batch in mathematics so if someone comes to you to ask for a help what would you do what should you do now would you, will you become so proud and so arrogant that i have all the skills in me and i am the best individual and you tries to help that individual but not in a very genuine or a humble way you help that person in a way you help but you help in a way that the person feels inferior from you not equal to you remember if you are helping an individual by making them feel inferior then it's not a help it's not a favor it's your bad attitude is it's your poor personality you know it's in, you know um we uh, we humans are not perfect right some people have some sort of skills in them and some other have some other type of skills in them right we keep on learning different things from different people and this is how we individual develop it's it's just same suppose in your class you have different subjects and for every subject you have different professors or different teachers for every subject there is not just one teacher or one professor but different professors and different teachers because every individual delivers something different to you right so that means if you are genius in mathematics that person who comes to ask from for help from you might be genius in some other thing of uh, other uh, aspect or other area of their life right so if you become proud or arrogant about it then it's the uh, you know it's the negative point of your personality ladies and gentlemen 
so i have spoke on to personality i spoke on to um, uh, negative and positive attitude how we can develop and correct our attitude you know at times it happens ladies and gentlemen we learn things which are not right for us right we learn things by seeing in the society or by uh, seeing on the television on we get affected by social media or somewhere that few things uh, uh, that are not good or healthy for our mental health or for our physical health or for our well-being or for our lifestyle as as a whole so what we need to do that we need to desensitize uh, it right and we need to develop the right sort of attitude uh, that is healthier uh, for us which is keeping our um, you know um, mental health in balance so um, by practicing uh, uh, and evaluating your attitude in public and assessing where you are right and where you are wrong where you are rude and where you are polite where you are helpful or where you are proudy and arrogant over your skills or credentials you need to understand that you are so people sometimes people are too proudy about their status sometimes people are too proudy or arrogant about um, you know uh, their qualifications or their skills they possess so is it a right attitude that you need to be very proudy and arrogant about it and of course for others is it right to appreciate the proudy behavior and the arrogant behavior of individuals no arrogance is a sign of a fear and insecurity this these kind of personalities i will definitely i'll talk in uh, uh sometime other in some other video about arrogant or uh proudy people what sort of personalities they have and what sort of fears and insecurities they have because it's again a very long video i'll talk in detail so uh i just made a casual video for all of you whatever thoughts came in my mind right now and i thought attitude is very very important to develop the right sort of attitude the right behavior with respect to every situation in our, in our life and this really um, you know develops our personality it defines our worth in the society ladies and gentlemen it develops our children's personality and their worth in the society as well so it's important to work on our attitude a lot whether it's professional or not professional thank you so much for watching if you like what i do please give give me a thumbs up and uh, keep subscribing to my youtube channel leave your feedback thank you so much for watching bye bye take care and good night